Hello, my sadistic bastards. How the hell are you? Uh, I know it's been a little while since I've done my last video. Uh, I wanted to uh, fill y'all in here in Kentucky. They have, they are now 5,025 new cases of Corona with just confirmed cases. That's just this week, I think it was. And uh, 65 deaths. Happened to be one of the people that me and my wife went to school with passed away yesterday from this shit. But of course she was dealing with other ailments. But um I think the government that gets off their need to get off their ass, the CDC does, and stop trying to find vaccines and start finding a cure. We don't want to have to, you know, baby it. Just kill it. Kill the damn virus and get be done with it. Anyways, here are some ways to help prevent yourself from catching this bullshit. Take a shower regularly. Wear your mask, even though it doesn't fully protect you, but it also couldn't hurt, you know. Keep your hands washed at all times. If you can't wash them, hand sanitizer. Sanitize the shit out of it. Keep your nails clean and trimmed. Those of you who has long nails, you can't tell me you ain't got shit caked underneath of them. You can wash them all day long, but you ain't gonna get all every little nook and cranny underneath those things. Now let's be, be realistic here. You pick your nose. There's going to be germs and bacteria and possibly a little bit of a booger hit underneath of them bad boys. You go wipe your ass. There's going to be a little bit of shit underneath of them. You take a leak, you're going to have a little bit of piss underneath of them. And everything you touch then rubbed and brushed up against, it's going to be on or underneath of them. You don't have to worry about long nails. We all know you work. And the point of long nails is to show everybody that you don't have to work for a living. No one cares. You should care more about your personal hygiene than how fancy you are. Anyways... You know, uh, oral hygiene, you know, that's not a bad thing to remember as well. But make sure your clothes are washed. You got you come home from work, go take you a shower and try some clean clothes on. Ain't no sense walking your nasty ass around all day after you got off of work. Stinking of, of your job. And here's another good idea to keep from catching this shit. Stay home. Stay the fuck <laughs> home. Don't have people at your house. Come on. Who are you, Hugh Hefner? Stay home. Keep people out of your home. If you're going to have to communicate with somebody, there's phones. If you talk to me in person... Keep a good distance from them. You ain't gonna be up in their face. If you ain't gonna be kissing on them, stay out of their damn face. Uh, I'm sad that I have to tell you all to take a shower and brush your damn teeth. Anyways, um, when you do go to a grocery store to buy your groceries, buy a little extra if you can afford it. Store it back. Whether you're doing it on shelves or bins or just under your cabinets or even just stack it up in a corner somewhere, buy extra so you don't have to run to the store as often. Uh, 
you gonna buy some shit paper, buy extra. We all know you will be burning up the seats of that toilet. Especially if you eat the stuff that I eat. Jalapenos, habaneros, Carolina Reapers, hot sauces. Anything hot, I really like. So, it does send you to the toilet, toilet a little bit off, more often than regularly. And if you're kind of person who has to eat a lot of salads, you best buy a lot of shit paper. Because that's going to send you to the thunder mug, to the porcelain throne. Giving it back. Um, cleaning supplies. Make sure you get, you know, good good gallon of bleach, some spray Clorox. Stay clear of the disinfecting wipes. Yeah, it's, it's good and it's, it has a good smell to it and everything. But to be honest with you, it doesn't clean nearly as good as the spray does. And it does leave a slight film on stuff. Paper towels, stock up on it. Buy cases of water. Don't trust your town, your city water. If you ain't got a well, buy bottled water. And just don't, and then when you're done with those bottles, fill them back up. You don't have to fill them up with water, but you know, you can fill them up with, uh, see, you buy a bag of dried beans. Pour them in that. Seal them up. It takes up a little less space. And, uh, it's already portioned. Glass jars, mason jars, whatever. Uh, coffee can. You buy dried rice. Fill up those co empty coffee cans with those dried rice. Throw a couple of those hand warmer things in there. Don't activate them. Just throw them in there. Keep the moisture sucked out when they last longer. White rice will last a whole lot longer than brown rice. Uh... Half of a teaspoon, what, a teaspoon of bleach will disinfect, I think, two gallons of water. Of course, you don't drink it as soon as you put it in there. You, you drink it, you shake it up, and let it set for a while. Leave the, take the cap of it off, let it evaporate out. You might have a little bit of a chemical taste to it, but it's fresh, clean water. If you're still not comfortable with that, boil it. Pour it out in the pot and boil it on the stove for about 15-20 minutes. Let it cool completely down. Make you a little makeshift filter. Pour it through. Back into the jug. You got it. Back again. Good drinking water. Most of the stuff is common sense. But not everybody has common sense. So, read up on it. You got, well, you hold, obviously we all got cell phones anymore. There's a whole trove of information. Right at your fingertips. It's up to you to learn. It's up to you to find this shit out and say, hey, I might have learned one, one thing after five hours of reading. Even if you did learn one thing, that is one thing extra in your arsenal of knowledge. And people take everything you have away, but they can't take this away. Unless they shoot you, of course. One, if they capture you, you ain't got to worry about survival anymore. But Knowledge is key. Knowledge is power. Learn. Even if you learn one new thing a day... A week, a month. That's just one more thing to help keep you and your loved ones alive. Sun's starting to go down, so it's getting a little dark for me here. Step out here in the light. There we go. But, uh... You know, 
I just want to say this. When the shit goes down, don't come crawling my ass. If you wasn't smart enough to store up and prep, make preps for your own self, don't come crawling on me because my preps is for my family only. Now, if you're a good friend and you need a little help, I'll be more than glad to. But I have to take care of my family. I have to make sure my family gets what they need. And by doing so, I am ensuring at least another day, another week, another month of my family having extra inner belly, extra warmth, after extra water, extra clothing, extra medication, whatever. So wake up, pull your big block head out of your ass, and start making some preparations. Either, even if it's like a couple cans of uh, canned food every every cup every week or two, that is a little extra that you're gonna be prepped for. You don't have to go out there with hundreds of thousands of dollars and buy this high quality, top of the line brand shit to survive. The cheap food will keep you alive just as well as the name brand top of the top shelf food if you can afford that wonderful if you're like most of us in a situation where your guys is hungry and you're starving you would eat a dog turd if it's thought to keep you alive so think about that macaroni boxes of macaroni and cheese of course, the cheese is going to go bad eventually, but that macaroni will outlast that cheese. So what do you do with that dried macaroni? Well, you boil it, get those get those noodles ready, you throw in a, a couple cans of uh, tomatoes, uh, I, you can throw in a little bit of tomato juice in with it, some ground beef or or uh, canned chili or whatever. You can make chili mac. You, there's, there's all kinds of experimental things you can do with that. And it'll be a hot meal in you and your family's belly. With just that right there, that should be that, that little bit of knowledge I just gave in you should mean the world to you and you should write it down. Add it to your prep log. Your prepping, your prepper's recipe book, which I've been working on. I know a few people, when I finish, I know a few people I'm going to hook up with a copy of it. Um... Let's see dried rice <laughs> and there's a million things you can do with that dried rice you can take that rice you know boil it as always get it ready you can throw in some chunks of chicken uh, with some peas green beans it sounds gross but it's actually really good or you can throw some chunks of chicken in it. A little bit of marinara sauce or Evans, whatever type of sauce you like. And you, it ain't gonna taste the best, but you know what? It will keep you alive. And and that uh, that rice is really bad for putting weight on you. But you will have a full belly, and if you stay active and move around, you you don't have to worry about that rice making you fat. There's two that I'm telling you right now that you can do. You can take cans of tuna, tuna fish. Good source of protein. It don't take a whole lot to fill you up. You can take that. Mix in with uh, your noodles, 
any type of noodles you want. Slap some Alfredo sauce on it. Throw in some peas or green beans and corn, carrots. Mix all that up together. You got you a nice meal. It's a good hot meal. It's a hearty meal. It will stick to your ribs and give you all the daggone vitamins, minerals, starches, and everything that your body needs to sustain for another day. Well, there's your three quick tips on prepper meals. I am going to be doing a uh, several segments on different prepper meals that you can add to your prepping log. Thank you all for watching my videos. Go to my buddy Shane's channel. Shane Space 717, hit the like and subscribe for him. Uh, go to Alpha Republic. Um, oh, dude, I'm sorry. Uh, you just type in Alpha Republic on Facebook. Uh, it should pop up. Like and subscribe to him. Now nah, he's on he's on YouTube as well. Check him out. He has some good stuff. Really knowledgeable. Really good on on, on his uh, information. Check him out. Uh, his name is Will. Uh, also go to Pucker Butt Pepper Company. Like and subscribe. Chase the heat like and subscribe again thank you all so much for watching my videos if you find yourself watching this video and you haven't yet like and subscribe please do so i would very much appreciate you i would have thank you very much uh, and if you already have love you thank you Don't stop watching. Keep on squatching. Night Squatch Prepper out.